Hey guys, Deckable25 and Archer 1934. With episode 131 of Avengers Review, today we have the Power Rangers RP on the Paleo Max Mixer, aka Kiriseto from Engine Sentai Go Launcher. So now you have Kishimov, the number 10 engine. He does have wheels, you can actually roll around too, it's not that bad to see. So you can actually do this with the nose, just like in the show does, when he uh, puts it up like this, or when he does this to do the little spray like they did in the show. In the Paleo Max, you include engine Soul number 10. Now he also does it differently like the others. He, he's actually in the bottom. So in order to activate the sound, you just gotta press the buttons on the, on the bottom right here. So we just press one. Now remember in Go Wander, these guys don't actually speak, they just make noises. They're the ancient engines. The light is actually on top right here where his little tusk is, so. You actually can use actually the nose too. So now we have number 11, T-Line, or Paleo Max 2. Now this is actually a dinosaur, so he's actually the T-Rex. T-Rex-ish. He does actually open the mouth. You can actually open the mouth really, really nice. The mouth also stores the connector, so when you use train mode. He does have wheels on the bottom, so it's really nice to know. Now to activate his uh, you gotta push the two button on the side, lift it up. The one thing I like about these guys is that the door actually stays open while on the other engines it just keeps falling down. So you press the sound here and activate the sounds, but this sole is actually broken. But you can tell it does make sounds and it does have the light right on the side right here. You can still pull it and you can still do this. Now what I like about this thing is that you don't have to activate the sound when you randomly press a button or when you're forming something. This actually, you just gotta press the button and it's done. Now it does have additional sounds for when you have to use it inside the rail saber or go phone ship changing wing trailer has additional sounds. So now we have K-Line. This is actually you know, the final engine and it's actually a Triceratops. Now this one is actually, I like the color scheme of this thing. It looks really nice with the blue because if you guys remember in Jew Rangers and in Arbor Rangers, the Triceratops was Always seems blue. to be consistent blue. So this is actually a nice little thing. You can still open the mouth like, in the, sh like the, the show does it, but it just looks weird when you have like this. Because it mainly for transformation, not really how the show makes it work. Just like the T line, the clip connector. It has a front right connector and a back connector. So you can reorganize it. It doesn't have to follow 10, 11, 12. It can so, same thing with T line. Press the button, open it up, and you put number 12 in. The lights on the side, same way as T line. The bottom button controls the other sounds. Now, in order for you to actually obtain 11 and 12, so you have to buy the ConCon bar. We got them in the Disney Store Rail Saber only. Another good thing about the K-Line is you actually can move the horns just like in the, in the show does. Now also in the uh, in the Arbor Rangers, you actually can move the Triceratops horns, but in Jew Rangers, they were just... They were removable and they were kind of a pain in the butt. So you actually had to super glue them just to make them stay. So to form the train, all you gotta do is just take out the clip on the bottom. And then we also gotta take out the clip on the mouth. And we just kind of connect them like that. There you go, there's a train where you can actually just roll them back and forth. There is, unfortunately, there is no motor function feature, so it uses it to push it yourself, but it pretty much follows like every other train that you did in the past.
So now we have the Paleo Max Megazord, aka Koi Seto. I like the motif of the train, I just don't like the f back. If you guys can see the back, it sticks out like, so much. It's like, oh yeah, every, every, almost every other engine, like an engine, oh, you only stick out the shield, but then it was okay. Of course, the only thing you can do is move the arms, the arms up and down. That's it. They're not bendable, unfortunately, and these still rotate. You can still rotate the wheels. They're really nice to rotate. Only bad part is that stationary wheels and each toy has can access to sound effects. If you push them over here for Kishi Moth, then you also have access for the front one here and, the, and back. the back ones here as well. One I would recommend you guys put the inner soles in in this one because. The legs are already stable, and yes, you can put it here, so it's not actually not that back heavy or not front heavy at all. Now you also can do this. Yes, you can have the horn if you want to have it like with the show where the, the, the nose sticking out and doing the finisher, but it looks weird like that. The funny thing about the Paleo Max is that it actually represents Drew Ranger and Power Rangers because the head, when you fold it back, it actually looks like the Daijuji. It forms the, the head and the horns. It actually has a big resemblance to that. Only difference is that there is no mouthpiece right here. And of course, another thing is, is that the toy itself says PR. There's a P on the right side and the R on the left side for Power Rangers. Also, another one is SL, Super Legends. That's when that's also during the time when the Super Legends also came out as well. So now we have the RPM Ultra Sword, aka G12 Formation. This requires all of the Zoas out, and this one, I, what I really like about this is that all the pieces for every single Zoa is used in the formation. Regardless. Except for the missile. The only part that actually isn't used is the missile on uh, on Jedi. Jedi. But you can put them inside the little gas tanks. But you have the shield on the bottom. You have Kishimov's part on the side. And of course, Baka, Gunpod, and Carrigator now form the legs. Engineer is mainly much sitting in the top, and T line, K line are, the, are the, now the arms. The, you can say this is the mustache. And of course, Triptor, Jedi is right here, and Jumbo Whale still in the back. And, and of course, because Jumbo Whale makes it extend out even more, it's much, it's much more back heavy now because Kishimoth's front part is on him now, too. You can actually move the arms very slightly. Like that. That's like the only side you can do it. Same thing with this side. You gotta be careful to hold the back and then extend it. That's, That's as far as you can move it. You can actually open the mouth still, which is the only good reason about this thing. But Unfortunately, you can't move the legs, but the wheels on Carrigator allow him to move the back and forth on it. Now, the RPM Ultra is actually slightly bigger than the Pyramidus. <laughs> Thank you.
Now alteration wise, now the Paleo Max of course was altered just to fit the American version of the G12 formation. They were reduced um, in size. For some odd reason, we in the American version, we actually added like two sockets on top right here. For it's extra detailing of some kind. But of course we took out the light on the, on the front and we also shrunk the the nose doesn't actually move up. You actually have the nose just like this. You can't really move it. The G was actually not slightly smaller and not painted in. And the buttons that actually push for the sound effects do exist on the American, but they're just molded into the plastic. Another also difference is that the 10 symbol for both for all three, 11 and 12, that she had more details to the Japanese one. Which they is added pitch. extra black lining and the white background to them. Of course, we also changed the eye stickers. The black direction strip is missing, making it more difficult to remember the positions for the Megazord transformation. We do still have the rotors here for the train wheels, but instead these were painted into a gold instead of being black. The orange detailing on here and on the front part of the arms are missing, and the silver part of the arms are also not painted in at all. The P and the R on the sides on the front of Kishimok was actually not painted in. Now the, com the cockpit compartment was actually flattened and more elongated, and it actually connects to the toward the back end rather than more on the top. Now another change is that there's actually an extra peg on the side right here. There should be only one here, but in the American one they actually added another one here, and this here over here was actually not a really a peg. They basically changed how the um, this part and the shield for Bear RV that connects to the US one is slightly different. So for number 11 and 12, there were some minor changes. The first one of course is of course the sticker eyes, and of course the American version, they actually changed the color on the red here, it's actually more brighter red. Both of them are actually elongated, and it also changed the way you put the edge cells in. In the Japanese one, you see it has this folding up door, but in the US one, it's more like a compact door that you actually raise, but the sides are actually not part of it. You can still open the mouth, so that was also another thing. And you can still form train mode, but the connectors were slightly different. Another thing is that there was actually no top or bottom button to activate the sound effects for these cells. The leg silver paint is missing. And the pegs for both backs are actually much more thinner on the US version and longer. <laughs> Overall, the Paleo Max was also another Zor that was actually not widely released to certain areas. They're both okay, just the fact that I do like how the Japanese one is much bigger and you They actually have a proper maroon color for him because in the US one he's a little bit too bright and he matches too much of the speed or. Other than that, they're both okay, just if you don't mind the sound, which to me it doesn't really matter then go by far get the American version. But if you do care for the details and the sounds, get the Japanese one. The Japanese one, you can actually form G12 with Daisho. You can form G6, G9, G12, and N, G9, and swap all the parts. They're all compatible with each other. I do recommend that you guys do get which ones you want because the Gohanja line was pretty decent. The RPM was okay as well. The fact that we actually got G12 was a big surprise. But I recommend both the Japanese and American if you don't care for the, for the sounds. American, if you care for the sounds and everything, get the Japanese one. But yeah, that's it for a review of the Paleo Max Megazo and the clusterness of G12. Join us next time for the Power Rangers RPM, the Nitro Soul, and the Rail Saber. Be come subscribe and we'll see you next time. Just like in the Lightspeed Rescue Zord, the you can, Super Train Megazord, you actually did the same thing. You can actually put yeah, 1, 2, 5, nah, 1, 2, 5, 4, 1, 2, 3, 5. Oh, there's a button on the bottom. There is? You had this whole time, you didn't know? Holy Uh, you know, okay, I'll, I'll, wait, 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 fit, I'll wait, wait, fit it, I'll, I'll fix it with sound. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't know. Now what I really like about this is that it doesn't restrict it to just having it being only curved to the center or curved to the side. You can actually curve it to the left or the right. Unlike some trains where they restrict it to having it only in the center, you can't move it around. In this one, you actually can, you know, a little bit like a little thing. A fun little detail, T-Line and K-Line can connect with the uh, travel on in the Maji Ranger line. Oh yeah, is he too tall? He's too tall, right? Yes, he is. Okay, so wait, before you go to that point. Then I'm gonna have to hold it like this. Yeah, yeah, hold it. <laughs> it looks weird, like, oh, I'm a dumb engine, ah. Oh. You have to raise that too. He's a pirate. Stop. He ain't no pirate, he, ain't no, he, he got no. I know, he lost his legs, he's a pirate. He got, he, he got no arms, he ain't no pirate. He yeah, no, I know, precursor no. to Gokaiger. Okay. Gokaiyo, take a goitz. <laughs> no, no, we don't. Gokaiyo, Shinkendra, and...
the hell did you do? I made all three combined. Yeah, no. I can magically do that. And then finally, we have Daijujin! <laughs> yeah, I know, they ripped off Daijujin's head. Daijujin! Oh, wait, no, okay. We're gonna, do, we're gonna do G12 now. <laughs> we're gonna do G12 now. We have to deal with that cluster mess of crap.